Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com and in today's video what I wanted to talk about is the equipment that you need to train from home. I am aware that there is a lot of you who don't one, don't want to go into the gym because it's scary, you feel uncomfortable, you feel intimidated, and two, you're in coronavirus, you're in lockdown, you can't go to the gyms, and so you have to train from home. So I wanted to discuss the equipment that you need to do so, and to do so effectively. Now, as a complete beginner, um, you can definitely start with bodyweight exercises, and that'll be a great foundation. Uh, you know, push-ups, diamond push-ups, pull-ups, um, and I have a bodyweight program that I give to my clients when they sign up if they don't have equipment yet. So they can start with that and then once they get the equipment, move on to the equipment. However, if we want to train for pectus and we really want to build the best physique possible with pectus, we're going to need to load with more than just our body weight, okay? We're going to need to get equipment to build that physique and, you know, pectus specialized exercises require um require some equipment particularly dumbbells um, and you know the plate the plate squeeze and press the one arm low dumbbell for life the dumbbell pullover unilateral dumbbell press all those movements you know we really do want dumbbells and, and plates that you put on the dumbbells uh, for them so yeah i'm going to run you through the equipment that you do need dumbbells as i talked about okay we definitely do want some dumbbells and now the clips you see is my carport gym at my home in byron bay um, and that's where one of you will be training out of, but hopefully it'll be renovated into a garage soon. Uh, whoever wins the challenge, well, they'll fl I'll fly them out to Australia and they'll be able to train with me. We'll train in the garage gym, which will be a garage by them, not a carport. So it'll be a pretty cool place. But this is my carport gym, okay? And this is all equipment I bought due to coronavirus and due to being not able to get into the gym. So I think it's a very worthwhile purchase, okay? So firstly, let's run through the equipment list. So. We definitely want dumbbells. Now, I would recommend adjustable dumbbells ranging from five to 20 kgs, which is about 10 to 45 pounds, okay? That's gonna give you a good range to be able to do exercises like the dumbbell ladder raise, which requires a really lighter weight, and then still be able to do exercises like a, obviously if you're really into your fitness, you're more experienced, then you might need to go a little bit heavier than 20 kgs per dumbbell. Like for me, I've got 25 kg dumbbells and I'm looking at getting some 35 kg dumbbells. Um, and then I've got an adjustable set for the lighter. Next, what you wanna get is resistance bands. Now these things are amazing. They basically replicate the cable, the cable pulley that will be in the gym. So, you know, you see your cable flies, your seated row, lap pull downs, all of those things that require a cable pulley, we can mimic with resistance bands. It's not as amazing, but it's still pretty close. And the stimulus you can get with resistance bands is pretty amazing. So definitely resistance bands, they're so cheap, they're so easy to get, and they're in all of my at-home programs. Um, so I definitely recommend getting a set of resistance bands. As you can see, I've got a whole different range of them. So you definitely want some lighter ones, some heavier ones. So depending on the exercise, you've got the appropriate resistance. So for example, on a resistance band row, you know, we'll need a heavier resistance band. But on a resistance band face pull or on one of my stretching exercises where we pull the band over and back around, you need a lighter resistance band, okay? So we definitely want a range of resistance band. Next, we want somewhere we can do pull-ups. Developing the back is very important for the pectus posture and, and pull-ups is one of the greatest exercises to do so. So we want somewhere where we can do pull-ups and chin-ups. So a pull-up bar, you can get them really cheap but go on your door frame. Um, I was lucky enough to have a support beam in my garage that I can do pull-ups off. So maybe your house has something like that. Um, and then I've also got another little pull-up station that I can use as well. And lastly, you want a bench and preferably one that can incline and decline or at least incline. So then we can, you know, do exercises on the bench. We can do floor presses, but dumbbell presses and other pressing exercises, but it's not going to give you the optimal range of motion to really engage your chest. So we do want a bench so we can come all the way down and get a good contraction, a good stretch, and then come back up and squeeze our chest. Okay. And then by having the incline option, you know, then we get to be able to do a whole bunch of different incline exercises to target our upper chest more. And it gives us a lot more variety in the program. And they're pretty cheap too. So definitely would recommend a bench as well. And that's the staple. That's all you really need. And I have an entire 
years worth of programming that can be ran just with that equipment. Um, normally, my programs are designed in five week programs and the reason for this is you can't just do the same exercises again and again forever, expecting to continue to build muscle at a good rate because the body will adapt to those exercises to that program and your muscle progressions will slow. So we need to change things up in order to you know, make the body build muscle. Uh, the muscle building process essentially is we shock the body. Uh, the body's like, oh God, what do I do? How do I survive? And it, it thinks to build muscle to do so. And then we fill it with the nutrients that will enable it to build the muscle. And so we want to get progressive overload on a five-week program and then change it up and make sure the program's getting harder and we're implementing new exercises. So at home with that equipment, what I have is, as I said before, a whole year's worth, which is 10 different programs, uh, all progressive in nature as they get harder and harder as they go. So you definitely can train at home and you can fix your pectus at home. Ideally, if we can get in the gym, it's better. I would recommend that. Then we can do a whole bunch of different exercises. Resistance bands are close to cables, but they're not as great. And then at the gym, we're gonna have more machines. And generally speaking, it's more motivating. But we definitely can get a great transformation at home and um, to the point where you know, you're know you so confident in your body and your pectus is fixed. You can definitely do that at home. And so that's why with the Pectus Transformation Challenge, it doesn't matter whether you're in lockdown or not. If you can get this equipment, you can participate. You do not need access to a gym. Uh, so if you've been thinking about the Pectus Transformation Challenge, but coronavirus and lockdown and those uncertainties have put you off, then there's no reason not to sign up to my coaching and the program because you can do it at home. As long as you're willing to get that equipment, you can do it at home. Um, and I found a lot of you actually happen to have that kind of equipment, which is amazing. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, another bonus little add-on that you don't need, but it is great, is an ab wheel, which most of you seem to have because you've watched my videos from ages ago where I've posted videos with the ab wheel. Um, so that's another bonus equipment too. But anyway, if you are thinking about you know, participating in the challenge, then I'd love to have you on board. Link is in description. Book a call with me, see if you're gonna be a good fit, and then we can get you signed up on the challenge. The registration is closing at the end of January, so you do wanna make sure if you're wanting to sign up, you sign up soon. And like, as I said before, don't let coronavirus or these outside circumstances affect you trying to make your transformation because if it's important to you, if there's a will, there's a way. And me as your coach, I will find a way to guarantee you these results and guarantee you get the transformation. If you get locked out of the gym, we'll go at home. We'll find a way to make it work regardless of what happens to you. As I said before, if there is a will, there is a way. And when something's important, we can make it work, okay? As long as you're willing to make it work. Uh, which I think most of you should do. If you've got pectus, I know how much it sucks. I know how much it, you want to change it. And I also know how much, how liberating and amazing it feels when you do. And you can, would love for you to experience that liberation. I'd love for you to experience how you can be confident with pectus when you build up your body. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, in the next video I post, I'll be doing an at-home workout to show you what you can do with that equipment that I just mentioned. Um, and this will be one of the workouts that's actually in my programming and my coaching um, that you will get if you sign up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And uh, like this video if it was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.